Alright, Piss and Vinegar Day 111. Back in Rear Delts, and today I want to talk about harvesting dark energy. So, it might sound a bit edgy, but it's a very powerful tool if you can do it, you know, uh, responsibly. So, you know, for a long time, I've been someone that is probably a bit more of a darker energy person, maybe a bit more negative. Like, by all means, I'm a happy person. I don't suffer from depression. Um, I don't really, like a sad, moody person, but I'm just kind of more of a, uh, I don't know, maybe a bit more negative, a bit more pessimistic, perhaps. And that's something I've worked on over the years. But it's actually been favorable for me in a lot of ways. Um especially in motivating myself to do things that are difficult a lot of times people and you know i've, I've got a few people in my life i know specifically who kind of try to use positive reassurance and you know uh the light essentially like let's like they're kind of like jedi of sorts where they try to think so positively and think you know nothing's wrong and um, you know, oh, I, I, I fucked up, but it'll be okay. I'll just do better next time. And a lot of these people, you know, no offense to them. They're doing that. I love these people, but a lot of these people, they don't really do anything with their lives or they don't do the things that they set out to want to do. They'll have an idea in mind. And they want to do it, but then they never get it done. And these same people will criticize me for being a negative person. And I, you know, I get it. Um, or maybe not criticize me for being negative. They're not like, you're a fucking shit person to be around, blah, blah, blah. But they'll be like, you know, they'll, be, they'll say I'm too harsh on myself. And perhaps I am, but this dark sort of energy or harvesting, you know, dark motivation fuels me a hell of a lot more than positive energy. And it's demonstrable in this, these people. I'm a lot more motivated. It's not to say I'm a better person or anything. It's just that if I decide I want to do something, I'm far more likely to do it than these people at least i'm much more likely to do it within my own life if i use kind of dark sources rather than light sources so what i mean by this is you know let's say uh, when i was younger i wanted to build a better physique because you know that's part of how you get women when you're an unexperienced man with no socialist skills or any real hierarchy within the social world so the rejection of women you know like when i was younger i would go on tinder and I wouldn't get any matches because, you know, I'm not, I don't, I'm not, you know, genetically gifted in the facial department, right? So I would use the motivation of rejection from women on dating apps um, to lift weights or do cardio or eat less or get leaner or whatever it was, was rather than being like, wham, wham, poor me, you know, this cuts back to the single swim mentality. It's like you either sink or swim. So I could see these chicks on Tinder and be like, oh, I hate women and become like a MGTOW faggot fucking scared of like hate hate woman hate a piece of shit or i could go well i get it these chicks aren't digging me because my face isn't all that great and my body's not all that great so it was like let me use this dark energy of rejection and you know depression of not having any success with women to get leaner and get more muscular and i found funnily enough and this is very often the case that once i just got lean i actually had a decently aesthetic face i don't right now i'm super bloated and fat from this bulk but you know when i'm lean i don't look too bad and my physique looks pretty good and then all of a sudden this dark energy that fueled me to get better through rejection of women allowed me to then in turn get women so that's an example or it could be you know business i don't you know for a long time i had fuck all money and i was just dirt poor and i had no status which then ties into women and and other things but just generally not having money to get by and that you know generally pissing me off and making me quite unhappy and again single swim i rather than being like poor me got no fucking money i use the dark rejection of society because i have no money i can't get the nice food i can't get the nice car i can't get the nice house can't get the you know whatever and went fuck it i will become the person that gets money now by no means do i have a lot of money right now but i'm doing a hell of a lot better than i was say two or three years ago by using this dark energy rather than being positive and being like oh it's okay you know i don't need that much money anyway no i looked at it from a very negative perspective of if i don't have money in this new day and age i will never have a house i won't have stability for future wife and kids i'm gonna be a miserable piece of shit and when you know klaus schwab with the fucking uh new <laughs> new world order economic forum decides we were all gonna start eating the bugs i'm gonna be a bug-eating freak 
because I don't want to have any money and the middle class will be gone. Like I just went down like a full on, you know, schizo rabbit hole of how absolutely shit it is to have money and how much of a fucking loser I am for not having money. And then use that as motivation rather than being like, it's all good, you know, positive energy, man, manifestation, blah, blah, blah. That shit doesn't work for me. It might work for others. Uh, in my experience, it seldom works anywhere as good for people than the negative energy. Now, you have to be careful that you don't become a jaded, you know, uh, negative freak. Because one day, you know, I was like, I would, for example, I'd swipe Tinder to, use, I use Tinder as a cardio motivator, for example. And one day I was talking to my sister, who's one of these people, and she said, yeah, that's pretty fucking dark and negative, dude. Like, you probably shouldn't do that. That's like, that's real, like, you know, borderline incel, MGTOW, uh, you know, loner, sig Sigma male shit. And I'm like, you know, that, you actually, that's, you're right. That's pretty fucking weird that I'm using Tinder to motivate myself to do cardio. It's like a chick who fucking shoves her fingers down her throat to puke her food up. Like, it was, it was you know, pathological at that point. So... At that point, I was thinking, all right, maybe I'm a bit too negative and that can make my exterior too negative. And then, you know, I sort of stumbled across, across stoicism where it's, you know, your outward demeanor is much more of a kind, uh, positive thing. Whereas the internal is still a raging infernal of negativity, but I'm using it as fuel. Um, a good example of this is, and I don't like movie idols because they're false idols, but a good example is if you've ever seen Lord of the Rings, and then you see these other movies like Fight Club and American Psycho and all these like Sigma male archetypes that, you know, embody this negative energy, chaotic energy as motivation. And a lot of this is just cringe, you know, mental masturbation for like 18 year old Zoomers who are in, who are in their like quote unquote villain arc or whatever. But there's a perfect duality and perfection of this in The Lord of the Rings with Aragorn. The character of Aragorn is the perfect of example of a masculine man who understands that negativity like there's horrible shit in this world and he doesn't let it get to him he stays kind he doesn't let it jade him he's a kind masculine warm man versus this cold you know also like pseudo narcissist or um kind of sigma archetype that would be say a tyler durden like that's the perfect example of like one of these sigma uh, motivators and you know if that's what works for you so be it and it's, it's far better that, that that you idolize something like that ideally you shouldn't idolize anyone but if you're gonna idolize someone it's better that you idolize you know fucking Tyler Durden than like some Marvel cape shit bullshit archetype or whatever but I just kind of coming back to this Aragorn was a great example of you know not falling too far down the darkness and like that sort of Sith energy that dark energy um you know, Sigma male bullshit. It's kind of the midway. You you have to go through your, your black pill, red pill part of life where you realize that life is unfair and, you know, you don't, you're, 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 you have a really hard life as a man and, you know, it's very difficult in the West nowadays with women and all these different things that are very tough nowadays. You have to take that red pill and kind of be like, ah, fuck, that sucks. Life's kind of a bit shitty, hey? But then you have to then come back from that and meet it somewhere in the middle like an Aragorn or an Aragorn I can't remember the character's name now but one of my favorite characters from any movie Aragorn is, is, is and Mads Mikkelsen no not Mads Mikkelsen uh, fuck who's the actor I can't remember his name now excellent actor absolutely underrated one of the greats uh, it's a shame he never got in enough movies but anyway I'm digressing he's a great example of an idol because you know media is a great way of expressing you know uh personality archetypes although again you don't want to idolize these people although if you are to idolize one movie character i'd highly suggest basing your personality and your your life over a on uh, um uh, based on an aragon versus any of these other you know fucking flawed characters aragon is about as good as it gets as far as a fictional idol he's perfect really um Anyway, I'm fucking all over the place as usual, but basically, use dark energy. It's incredible for motivating you, far better than light energy a lot of the times. Although you, you need to be, you know, you need to be gracious and you need to be grateful of the things that you do have. I mean, a lot of the times, and this, this is like dark energy and light energy working together, I'll go around town and I'll start looking at guys who are just very unfortunate and I'll go, thank God that's not me. And this sounds very fucking negative and dark and evil, but it's 
it's kind of a mix of both where I'm looking at these guys and I go, you know, as much as I sometimes resent certain genetic components of myself or certain as attributes of myself, at least I'm not that guy who is, you know, a certain way or whatever. So that's another thing. Like you have to use the light and, you know, be grateful of what you've got and, you know, don't be too fucking negative. Don't let the negativity consume you. Don't become the Sith. Don't become the Jedi either though. Become that, um, oh, man, I, I'm not even really much of a Star Wars fan, but there's like an in-between in Star Wars where it's like the Jedi plus Sith and you kind of you're in the middle i can't remember i think mace windu the samuel L. jackson character with the purple fucking lightsaber he that's his whole thing is he's like in between like he's he's kind of a negative hard pipe hitting you know samuel L. jackson he's like you know he's a realist but he's also a jedi he's overall quite you know he's got that like light energy but anyway be somewhere in the middle but but also yeah use dark energy just don't let it jade you essentially is what i'm getting at today anyway See you guys tomorrow for more Piss and Vinegar. Bye-bye.